anadromous Atlantic salmon spend their adult life in salt water, then migrate upriver to spawn in fresh water near where they were born. In October or November, salmon deposit their eggs in reds or gravel nests that they make in the stream bottom. Fertilized eggs develop safely just below the surface of the gravel where they were buried. By February, the eyes and spine of the developing salmon can be seen through the transparent shell. These eyed eggs hatch into sac fry or alvin in April, dependent on water temperatures. The sac fry develop and grow for six more weeks in the red using their yolk sac for nutrients. They emerge as fry in May or early June as stream temperature rises. The growing fry or par have dark vertical bars on their sides called par marks, which camouflage the young fish. Par feed for about two years in fresh water. Par are territorial, competing for available foods. When they are about six inches long and two ounces in weight, the par go through physical changes and become smolts. Smolts gain the ability to live in salt water so that they can feed and grow quickly in the ocean. They lose their par markings and become bright silver in color, blending into the marine environment. The young salmon emigrate and feed off the coasts of Newfoundland and Greenland for one to three years. They grow to a length of two to three feet and a weight of seven to twelve pounds before returning to their natal streams to spawn. Most adult salmon reach the mouth of freshwater streams in April and they migrate upriver through June. Some return in fall. Once in freshwater, the silvery salmon color fades to a brown or bronze color with reddish hues toward the spawning time. Males develop a kipe, or hooked jaw, that distinguishes them from females. Adult salmon do not feed in freshwater and may not eat again until they reach the ocean after spawning. After months without feeding, salmon can lose half of their body weight. Few survive to spawn again. In October and November, the female salmon leave the summer resting pools and look for shallow water with a gravel bottom downstream from fast flowing water. She fans the gravel with her tail fin to create a red, a depression in the stream bed. She lays some of her eggs in this red and nearby adult and sometimes juvenile males fertilize the eggs with milt. The female digs another red just upstream. The gravel from the second red settles downstream and covers the previously laid eggs. She continues the process until all of her eggs have been laid, producing about 750 eggs per pound of body weight, or about 8,000 eggs total. The Atlantic salmon eggs will be safe in the gravel until spring when the fry emerge and start the cycle anew. When I was a young fish, I knew the way I was growing up, I had a fish alive, but now I'm grown, and I'm cruising with some shad, all these dams in my way, making me pretty mad, cause I'm a fish! Now it wasn't that long ago Fish my clean did a bow But now I look around me Ain't many of us left around You know without no decent habitat It's pretty tough to stay alive